A wildfire in California's Highland area, fueled by intense heat and dry conditions, has rapidly expanded, as ABC7 Los Angeles captured aerial footage of the blaze. Mandatory evacuations are expanding as the brush fire burns in the foothills of a national forest east of Los Angeles. Tens of thousands of homes and other buildings are being threatened by the so-called line fire. The blaze was burning uncontrolled along the edge of the San Bernardino National Forest, about 65 miles east of Lane. As of Sunday morning, the blaze had charred about 27 square miles of grass and chaparral. The cause is under investigation. More than 600 firefighters were battling the blaze, along with water-dropping helicopters and other aircraft. Temperatures in the area were expected to soar into the triple digits as Southern California experiences a days-long heat wave. Dallas police officer Darren Burks, who was fatally shot in what the police chief called an execution, was remembered Saturday as a hero during a funeral service in Dallas. A hero who made the ultimate sacrifice the grief is overwhelming, said Dallas police chief Eddie Garcia during the nearly two-hour-long service that was often marked by applause for Burks' mother, Sherry Jeffrey, and laughter at memories of Burks. He loved me every day. He didn't wait until my birthday, or various holidays, Jeffrey said as she stood next to a portrait of Burks in his uniform, adding that her son texted her daily. Darren loved everybody. Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson said Burks was, tragically taken, targeted, because he was a police officer. Burks was, a hero with a spirit of service and selflessness, Johnson said. Bagpipes played and mourners streamed past his open coffin that was draped with a U.S. flag and uniformed police officers at either end until the casket was closed for the service. Burks, 46, was sitting in his patrol car August 29 when he was fatally shot by 30-year-old Corey Cobb Bay, who spoke briefly with Burks and recorded the encounter before pulling out a handgun and shooting Burks, according to police. I know the word ambush has been thrown around, that's not what happened here. Garcia said following the shooting. Officer Burks was executed. To serve and to protect all of us. So today, we mourn the hero that we lost, but we also celebrate the life that he led and the impact that he made on so many people. As our city moves forward and we his spirit of service and selflessness had to be taught. It had to be cultivated from a young age. And we owe his mother and this family our deepest gratitude for instilling those values and raising such a great young man. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Jeffrey.
thank you for what you did for this city and for this community. My son honored me every day. My son did not wait to my birthday. He didn't wait to Christmas. He didn't wait to New Year. He didn't wait to Easter. He didn't wait to Mother's Day. My son honored me every day. My son would text me twice a day. Sometimes he texts me in the morning, he texts me in the evening. Sometimes he texts me when he's getting off from work and he said, Mama, Mama, I'm on my way home. <laughs>